Hi everyone, it is December 1st here in Kansas and it's actually opening day of firearm season. So I'm gonna be getting out into the woods with my rifle over these uh, next 12 days. But right now, I thought I would bring you guys kind of a bow breakdown, a bow review of um, this compound that I use all season and kind of my philosophy behind hunting with, with this uh, I think 18 year old fossil basically because if you're gonna go on YouTube right now and kind of look at what everybody's using you would think that trying to shoot a deer with this old of a compound is just not possible you gotta have the new stuff um, even and it's crazy because it's so expensive and even kind of their budget stuff like the uh, PSE Embark, which is meant to kind of be a, uh, a nice kind of featured bow that's at a reasonable price point is $800. So that's not my price, price point right now. Um, so yeah, you can pick this bow up. It is the Hoyt ZR200. And you can pick this thing up on eBay from anywhere between $150 to $200. And that's pretty doable, I would think, if you just save up a couple bucks off every paycheck or, or whatever. Um, so right now, I will kind of just break down what I've got on it. So I've got this 4-inch limb saver stabilizer and dampener down here. I have limb saver limb dampeners, but these are both kind of broken. Here is the other half of them. that It just, it just fell off this summer while I was practicing. And I've got a Whisker Biscuit Rest. I've got a Carolina Archery Products Sight, five pin sight. And when I was hunting, I actually only used these top two pins. I dropped the bottom three all the way down because I missed a doe high because I put the 40 pin on her at 20 yards because it was basically the first time I'd ever drawn on a deer and I just used the wrong pin, missed high, so I was like gonna take care of that. So only had a 20 and 30 pin on there. And I've got this peep right here, and this little rubber thing broke uh, probably three or four times, and I just pop it right back on this little button right here. And it seems to shoot fine, but it definitely, this peep definitely moves, and so I kinda, whenever I'm like, whoa, what's wrong with my sight? I just kinda fiddle with the peep for a little bit and, and find the right spot. So really, um, this was my dad's bow. He bought it I, either a year, a couple years old, um, back in like 2004 or five. And the string is really worn. You can see this right here is, I don't even know. It's, it's just fraying, it's fraying, it's fraying everywhere. And when, if you look at it, you're gonna think, um, you know, this might not be, this might not be a great option, but Sometimes it's your only option. And when I shoot this thing, it shoots straight and it's at 56 pounds, so it shoots fast enough. And all I really need is an opportunity because this is gonna be, this season was gonna be my first time ever shooting a deer with a bow. And I just like the way this felt. It's a 39 inch axle to axle bow. So absolutely massive compared to uh, today's compound bows where guys are shooting like 31 inches. And so um, 31, even shorter down to last year, the Matthews had the 27 inch bow, 27 inch V3 that a lot of guys picked up. So, but the 39 inches, I think that, I think that actually helps a ton with the accuracy and it's a lot more forgiving, um, especially since I haven't shot a compound that much. And because I was shooting a 57 inch or a 56 pound bow, I went with the light, I went with a lighter arrow setup because it can just whip these things in there. And I use the Easton Carbon Aftermath. And with these blazer veins, they just, the, the arrows come just like this. I literally ordered this arrow from Sportsman's Guide the other day. They cut it for you, put the insert in up here, and it's ready to go. And I actually, for my broadhead, I chose the Grim Reaper Whitetail Special because I went with mechanical shoot because I went with the mechanical because they because I don't tune my own bow 
and I wanted my arrows to just fly like, I wanted my broadhead arrows to fly like my field points, and this does exactly that. And it actually, this three pack actually came with a really um, neat practice broadhead. So this broadhead right here is what I basically shot with all season in between hunts to make sure that my arrows were flying like my broadheads would with this with this dummy broadhead. And it worked perfectly when this, I mean, talk about building confidence. When I would go out after shooting this broadhead, I mean, this thing flew so well. So, um, and, it, and it paid off. And back to kind of this broadhead theory is that when you have, when you use a mechanical and you want to use advantage, you know, like the advantages of having a mechanical are you're going to, you can choose to make better cuts, make bigger holes in deer so i chose the grim reaper whitetail special which this thing i think has i think it's somewhere like it has like four inches of cut cutting um it creates a four four inches of gash basically and when you watch the seek one guys do their broadhead review from 2020 you actually they kind of skipped over the grim reaper broadhead but if you look at the ballistic test the grim reaper broadhead did the most damage by far. And so by shooting my lighter um, poundage bow with a lighter arrow, as long as I get it through the hide on the first punch, this thing is gonna create some damage on the lungs, it's gonna create some damage internally and just mess everything up. And that's what I found happened um, with my buck. I punched through one side of the lungs, one side of the rib cage, snapped, got through the heart, punctured the lungs a little bit and then it got stuck on the hide on the other side and eventually after the deer ran it wiggled out and the arrow fell but the the buck was just toast in 50 yards so who would have thought in today's age with everything on youtube i could shoot a light arrow with a mechanical broadhead and a 56 pound bow and shoot an absolute tank of a kansas public land buck so that's kind of what happened to me that's my story with this bow i couldn't be more happy um, you, you, you hunt with what you have. Don't make anybody feel like what you have isn't good enough because obviously people have been shooting deer with sticks for hundreds, if not thousands of years. So anything from this decade, you can probably make work. So yeah, that's kind of what my philosophy has been this year. It was awesome taking this bow out. It's really not that heavy and, you know, getting it done. So if this could be any inspiration to anybody out there, um, I would make this whole video worth it. So just go out there, get in the woods. There's nothing that's going to beat being out there, um, especially if you're trying something new like I did this year. So if you guys like the video, please let me know what your kind of favorite part about this bow was. Was it the frayed string? Was it the broken limb savers? Or the fact that the peep sight, uh, this tube thing keeps falling off? I don't know. Let me know what your favorite part about it was. Let me know what your favorite part about the video was. Um, and if you guys wanna see more content, subscribe. I literally, when I see those subscription numbers going up, that just fills me um, with, I don't know, that's what kind of motivates me to make these videos and, and keep pushing them out to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, be on the lookout for some more deer hunting uh, rifle videos. And once, even if, and if I don't get a deer with the rifle, I'm going to be back out in the woods with this guy out for blood. So thank you guys for sticking to the end. And as always, I'll catch y'all later.